okay this is life You ready to go back in your swing? You ready to go back in your swing? Let's go. Let's go to your swing. Oh, you spit up all in mommy's bed. You spit up all in mommy's bed. Oh no. We just washed the sheets. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, and welcome back to another vlog. My name is T Marie. If you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But, girl, this morning has been so good. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, baby girl slept in her bassinet all night long like what what yes so i don't really know what i did the only thing i could think of that i did different was i gave her a bath first and then i fed her so maybe that milk like put her out because usually i'll feed her first and then do the bath but I don't know I'm gonna try it again tonight and see if that's just the magic potion because your girl is well rested okay I only got up twice last night which is still pretty normal the first time I got up was around 12 30 and I had to wake her up to eat um, because I don't like her just waking up screaming because she's hungry and then she was fussy around 4 30 in the morning so i fed her changed her laid her back down and she was out for the count but y'all i have so much energy today as clearly y'all can see because i done cleaned my room 
y'all it is so hard to like try to clean and kind of keep my house together and shout out to my bestie because she literally told me that that was going to be my life and i'm like mm, i don't know i could still maintain i could do this i could do this girl it's hard out here okay it's hard so she been in her swing um she just kind of been chilling been content she's napping right now so if y'all hear some little lullabies in the background you see the little swing you see her? you see her <laughs> yeah but i straightened up my room i cleaned the bathroom i cleaned the kitchen um cleaned her bottles got her um mixed up her formula and everything put that in the fridge so it's ready to go whenever she's hungry um I did my morning skincare just added my moisturizer I still have to do my living room um, which is gonna be pretty quick I don't feel like the living room really gets junky that fast um, but yeah after all that I'm like so hot and I feel sweaty and I really want to get in the shower but uh, my sister is coming over mm she'll probably be over in like 30 minutes or so so as soon as she gets here i know she's gonna want all her snuggles and all her hugs with her niece so i'm gonna let her do her little rich auntie thing and your girl is gonna get in the shower and get just all nice and squeaky clean because i just feel so gross right now but in the meantime i need to oil my scalp y'all yeah so i had did these braids i want to say three weeks ago y'all know i do my own hair so just saying <laughs> um it was so hard to do it with a newborn baby it was so hard it took me especially for braids this size without a baby i could have finished this in four hours but you know with just me and her here and it's tending to her and everything it took me four days to finish my hair and that fourth day i was so happy because her dad was here so he was able to just kind of like be, you know sit with her be with her play with her all that while i finished my hair so definitely grateful for that but in the future one of two things are gonna happen either she's gonna have to go with my mom or somebody like that or i'm gonna just come out of pocket and just pay to get my hair done so we're gonna see because the time it be taken i can really save that time and go sit in somebody else's chair you yeah. know but yeah these braids have been in for three weeks which is kind of long for me but because i haven't been going anywhere like literally monday through friday i'm in the house like i'm still not working yet um the only place that I might go is like to the doctor or something, but my hair be tied up literally all the time. So it still looks pretty decent. I'm kind of ready to take it out. I'm just trying to like plan what my next hairstyle is going to be before I take it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to oil my scalp with the Mayo, the Rosemary Mint if it'll focus but yeah one thing i like about this is the little applicator i love this so i can get right where i need everything to go and i like the smell of it and especially with me being postpartum i heard that the rosemary really helps with like hair growth and stuff like that because they say your hair falls out um, I'm not really sure if that's the case with me yet because I've had these braids in but I've also still been taking my prenatal vitamins because um, they were saying when well, my doctor was saying to still take them while you're breastfeeding um, even though I recently stopped breastfeeding I still try to take it just because of what's in there um, you know I still need it for my body but pretty soon I'm about to switch over to just like um, like a women's one a day like multivitamin and then I'm gonna go back to taking my hair skin and nails 
So once I get clear from my doctor, when do I go in? I think in two weeks, then I will switch to my regular vitamins. And can y'all believe that for these, um, are these like boho goddess braids, whatever they are, I use synthetic hair. Like, I thought about going to like my bundle stash and like using like human hair and doing the whole, uh, what do you call it? Messy hair look or whatever, braid look. But I'm not wasting my bundles on that shit. Like, no it's just not happening it's so crazy how now like these goddess like boho braids are like such a trend now like i've been doing that like <laughs> for years i think the first time i actually did it one myself was it was probably maybe like five six years ago um i'm gonna try to find a picture and like insert a clip or whatever in here but it was when I did like a girl's trip to Vegas. And at the time like knotless braids weren't really like a thing. So I just had like regular like box braids like with the knots. But nonetheless they were still like the whole like boho goddess. And it was so cute. And that was back when like my hair was like mostly black. So but yeah I thought I was too cute. And even then, I still use the uh, synthetic hair. I think it's like the free trust. I'll put it down below, but I like it. Cause I've seen a lot of people like spend money on like bundles and add in their braids and it'd be all like matted and everything. Like, I don't do nothing to this, nothing. Literally just one of my scalp like I'm doing right now. That's it. And then after this, I need to make a grocery list. I need some groceries in here. And Bay wants lasagna. So I'm going to get all the ingredients to make lasagna. My lips are so dry. Like, what the? Okay, that's better. I'm gonna do everything to prep for that. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna actually physically go to the store or just do like a pickup order. I don't know. I really have not been feeling grocery stores these days. It's like such a headache. Like, I know they have all these services now. What is it, Instacart and stuff like that? But I don't know, sometimes that stuff be, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, like maybe for like quick stuff, but I don't know if I trust it for like produce. Yeah. I'm just not really feeling like going out today. But we'll see, my sister gets here, maybe. I'll just run to Aldi and see. The only thing is Aldi doesn't have lasagna noodles. At least the one right here doesn't. Like I can get everything else from there except that. And I do not want to go to multiple stores that that's just for the birds. So my hair is all boiled up. These braids are so long. Like you guys can't even see how long they are. Like And that's with the curl. Like, imagine if I just wear them straight. Wow. And I'm a short girl, y'all. I am 5'3". Good news, I'm already down 15 pounds for my pregnancy weight. So I'm happy. I'm definitely just on like this journey to get my pre-pregnancy body back. Um, my stomach is flat. I have like very few, and I mean very few, stretch marks on my stomach. But throughout my pregnancy, I was using lots and lots of oils. And when I tell you like the very few stretch marks that I have did not come until like the last like two weeks 
of my pregnancy so otherwise like it's been really good so they haven't even been there that long but I'm gonna show y'all like some of the products that I was using throughout my pregnancy and then I'm still using them now to this day why is my camera so high um so two of my faves are the bio oil and this is for stretch marks you can use it for like basically any like skin impurities for like burns you know marks scars whatever um so i've been using this and then another product y'all i'm always gonna rave i am always going to rave about urban rx okay so this is the other product that i've been using and i love this stuff um it's literally for your body so think of like all the things that you're doing for your skincare for your face imagine those same products but for your body so this is the even toned smoothing body treatment it has glycolic acid kojic acid if i'm saying that uh, saying that correctly and retinol so the reason why i use this as well is because it has retinol in it um which can help with pigmentation um i forgot what it's called is it called mo yeah i don't know i'm gonna put it up on the screen because i just don't remember the name of it but basically it's where like you have extra these extra hormones in your body and they make like your skin a little bit darker but it will fade over time and i believe those are the same like hormones and stuff that give pregnant women that dark line down your stomach so my stomach is just a tad bit darker than like the rest of my complexion so i've been using this to even out my complexion these products i would say are you know very inexpensive this is this one is really not that cheap y'all just saying but it's a good product it also comes in like a cleansing bar that you can use in the shower too just to FYI the other ingredients that I was using I call it ingredients like I'm talking about food hello but anyways <laughs> these oils um, you can get them anywhere you can order them on Amazon get them at your local store whatever but I combine all of these together and kind of make my own like oil and this is what I like to use overnight. So, organic coconut oil. That's it. Organic coconut oil, along with castor oil. This you can get on Amazon. Vitamin E oil. Last but not least, I'm gonna butcher this, Jehova. <laughs> Jehova oil. I mix all four of those together and I just rub it all over my stomach, make sure it's like really in there and moisturized and I go to bed. So that's really all I do. So during the day, I alternate between these two. I literally apply these, I want to say, I feel like I do it every time I use the bathroom since I got to come out of my Faja um, and then I just alternate these and then overnight I just do my mix of oils. So, I don't know. It's been helping me so far. No complaints. Let me get this living room together before my sister comes. So that way all I have to do is just jump in the shower and, you know, all of that. So, I'm going to check with y'all a little later.
smoothie. <laughs> Get you one. <laughs> spit girl, is it? Is it? Is spit girl somebody in over? The girls just can't stop. Get you a salad. <laughs> Love protein on there. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I haven't had this one in so long. I think the ones that are lemonade based you are like more refreshing. Oh yeah. Versus the ones that have whey protein if you're trying to get for something that's a little bit more filling. But since I knew we were already using salad, I'm like, I don't need to get anything that has too much like protein. I didn't even think about that. Ranch. Chicken salad salad. <laughs> you know that TikTok thing like, what's With this? Extra ranch. They was like, what you got? It's a chicken salad. She said from the deli on off 80 something. Oh, you didn't see that TikTok? Girl, no. I mean, it's, it was a real, not a TikTok. I don't know. TikToks end up as real all the time. She's like, what you got on it? It's a chicken salad. <laughs> I think you actually sent me that one. I think I did see you that one. I'm pretty sure you sent me that one. girl, man, you know damn well. But no, I sent you the one with old girl ordered something from Panera. She tried to act like she ordered something healthy and then when she opened up the bag on something. They didn't put my salad oh, in yeah, here. Yeah. you don't get them out of here. <laughs> Come on, down with us when you order those salads. <laughs> Girl, sometimes with Panera, like, I'll be wanting to, like, be like, okay, let me get, like, a soup and a salad or, like, a sandwich and a salad. But they mac and cheese be having me in a choke. Hole. So, hold, please, because the mac and cheese are take for life. I've never had it. Bitch. I have to try it next time. It is top tier. I don't be that often. I don't know about no Popeye's mac and cheese. So, okay, I'm gonna have to try the one at Chick-fil-A next time. Right. I'm talking about, it's like, well, like what, grandma baked it. What do you get with it? Like, it's like a side. Right, but, so you just get a sandwich and then let me get a side of mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, somebody from the church baked that macaroni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody from the Baptist church. The three cheeses. Girl, baked. Like, baked. I'm like, who? Who told y'all this? <laughs> She's sweet. That's what her ass still closed. Mm -hmm, that's a sleep cry. <laughs> what it's called, active sleep. Mm hmm. Let's see a little hand moving. My camera back to die. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take, the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget Hey y'all, it has been a day What's today? Saturday, yes 
today is Saturday. Yeah, I did not sleep last night. I woke up at 1.30 again, and I haven't really been back to sleep. Um, yeah, did some grocery shopping, went to Target, um, and then I just kind of chilled. I did order from DoorDash and got some Chipotle. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's 5 p.m. Like, literally, I haven't talked to y'all all day. But I'm about to go to a get-together. Uh, my cousin is going off to college, so congrats. Yeah, we're just going to go celebrate her. Why is my mascara? I hate when, like, the bottom and top lashes, like, stick together. It's so annoying. She's having a trunk party today. Um, so I just got the baby dressed. Um, she's back in her swing. She always in her swing. She loves that swing. <laughs> and I just got myself dressed. Um, it's rainy and gloomy and nasty and yucky outside. Y'all, I was gonna wear this super cute, like, sundress. Um, but weather permitting <laughs> um so yeah with the weather my lashes are driving me nuts so yeah with the weather i just decided you know what i'm just gonna be super chill and comfortable y'all see i still got my hair up in this bun um and i'm like you know what i just like the look of it being pulled back away from my face so this top i got it from sheen um it's basically like a skims dupe um i'll link it down below and then these um wide leg pants i don't know y'all can't see the bottom but the wide leg pants i actually got them today from target and i love them they are so comfortable like I just bought another pair in black on the app so yeah I'll link those down below as well but yeah they're so comfy and like so soft um yeah I love it so that's what I'm wearing very chill um but we are about to head on out the door oh I need to remember to get my margarita out of the fridge because yeah all right y'all so i'm gonna check in with y'all once i get there yesterday I did not even have the energy to vlog pick up my phone my camera nothing like during the family get-together but it was so fun it was really nice to see everybody and everybody got to meet my baby so it was exciting it was really fun y'all I was I came back home a lot later than I anticipated and it was pouring down raining I did not like that but all is well so i'm just making some lasagna i think i told y'all yesterday i think um but babe wants lasagna so i'm making him lasagna 
I am gonna go out to dinner, well, I guess maybe like an early dinner. Um, there's this new restaurant that just opened up in the Chicagoland area. Um, it's by the famous chef Gordon Ramsay. So it's his restaurant and the reservations are booked up like crazy. Like literally they're so limited, it's insane. Um, I was also looking like, cause my birthday was coming up, I'm like maybe I'll try, you know, to get in there, but they don't have like any weekend reservations until like after October. It's crazy. So I heard really good things. I heard the food is phenomenal, like chef's kiss. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to go. Um, I gotta take a look at the menu. I definitely know they have crab cakes, so I will be getting that if y'all don't know. Every restaurant that I go to, I always get crab cakes. I love crab cakes, but nobody's crab cakes have compared to Eddie V's. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Baby girl is taking a nap and I, yeah, I don't know. I'm about to have me a cup of coffee. I need to wash these dishes in the sink, finish this lasagna, and then I need to figure out what I'm wearing because y'all, where is my coffee? Oh, it's the microwave. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you have mom brain. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So today is another super gloomy, rainy day, which really put like a damper on my outfit that I was gonna wear. I had this really cute like white and not necessarily pink, maybe like a fuchsia or like a magenta type of pink. So cute, very like form fitting that I wanted to wear, but I'm like, it has so much white on the dress. I'm very nervous to wear it out, especially when it's raining. So I may have to rethink my whole little outfit. So yeah, let me finish my coffee, get my home life together. Babe should be here shortly. Um, he's gonna watch baby girl while I'm gone and figure out what I'm going to wear so yeah
it's another day <laughs> I did not pick up my camera again yesterday after our doctor's appointment your girl was tired legit tired like after I ate that pasta she was asleep I was asleep and yeah that was that <laughs> So we didn't really have much going on yesterday. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not even gonna pick up this camera today. But today is a new day. It is Tuesday. I am so sleep deprived. This sweet girl. <laughs> yeah, you baby. <laughs> uh, had us up from 3 a.m. until. And yeah, I really mean until so it's been a struggle this morning she was able to go back to sleep after her first morning bottle while i was up doing things around the house and trying to edit content and all of that so i wouldn't be surprised if i get like a little 3 p.m nap in you know her doctor's appointment went really good yesterday um she is up to almost eight pounds now so that's really good um so she is growing she's definitely had some milestones um doing her little baby talk and cooing you guys might have heard that on the previous vlog and then she's also smiling um she's learning to kind of grab and like hold on to things so all that's really good um she does have some eczema so the pediatrician recommended um, eucerin or aquaphor we definitely have aquaphor at home um, but we're gonna also use eucerin and just kind of see which one we like better um, and which one's gonna kind of clear up her skin a little bit more yes and then um, we increased her formula instead of doing two ounces every two hours we're doing three ounces every three hours um so i definitely think it's new to her and her tummy is probably getting adjusted to having an extra ounce of of milk so um yeah last night i got spit up on three times three times yes and there's still spit up in my bed that i need to clean so <laughs> Yeah, trying to get her on a bedtime sleep schedule um it's a little bit challenging sometimes but we're gonna get through it we are definitely gonna hang in there i'll be going back to work in a few weeks so we're definitely gonna get this schedule down pat. right <laughs> yeah i'm trying to get her to sleep in her own bed um yeah and your daddy be spoiling you mm -hmm. he sure do mm -hmm. she's falling asleep already i'm so jealous i'm so jealous <laughs> this is the sleep that i need um but yeah i'm just gonna do some stuff around the house um i'm gonna go ahead and pre-make all of her bottles with the three ounces so they're just kind of ready to go i just gotta put in the warmer and give them to her um what else do I need to do? The house is pretty much like clean. I just need to kind of like tidy up. Um, I do have some family coming over this weekend to see baby girl for the first time. So I would definitely want to make sure the house is tidy. Um, I'm really contemplating on taking these braids out. They've been in for a month and anyone who knows me knows that a month is a long time for me to keep one hairstyle. I love to switch my hair up all the time. And then trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair next. I might just do like, maybe a silk press. I'm like torn, like part of me just wants to just do a blowout and then just like flick my hair back into a bun. And then just do like some cute baby hairs and then the other part of me is like to do a silk press kind of see like where my hair is at as far as like postpartum and kind of see like health wise like do i need a trim and you know all of that and then i also uh, i really want to buy some more clipping extensions and the um 
like the yakky texture like has me in a chokehold i haven't been able to dye my hair while i was pregnant so i do um, need to do a root touch up because i have so much just dark black hair at my roots it is crazy and y'all know i always do like brown and like gold and stuff like that in my hair so yeah my sister was like this is the darkest i've ever seen your hair i was like girl i know we finished girl you did all three of them ounces yes you did <laughs> she's just staring at me with these bright eyes oh my gosh i love her all done you dozing back off already sweet pea <laughs> i'm about to make up these bottles um this is the formula that we are using the similac 360 um sensitive so we've been using this one um it's really good on her tummy we tried a few other ones like the regular similac 360 we also tried infamil but we feel like this one is kind of just the best one for her and her tummy and then we have the baby nursery water so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of get her bottles together so everything kind of just runs super seamless and i still have to wash her other ones as well so i will do that too i need to take this garbage outside Duh. she did a massive massive poop literally y'all like i can tell whenever she poops like she is going to be one of those like girls that are just always so like clean and like ugh, no i don't she's basically gonna be like me like i'm like you know i cannot lay in the bed at night if i have not taken a shower like i don't know it's just something in me is so gross to just get in your bed after being like outside in the world and in the environment ew i don't know that's gross to me but anyway <laughs> I can tell she's gonna be very similar like as soon as she starts to poop she starts crying bawling okay this girl is wailing like get this poop up off of me clean me up asap so as soon as she starts crying I'm like okay I already know what this is about I'm like giving her a few minutes so she can finish so I go to change her thinking okay she is done so I get her all cleaned up and everything and before I know it, she's not done pooping and she starts to poop again. And I'm like, luckily I had one of those like um, disposable, um, I don't know what you call them, like poop pads or whatever. I don't know what you call them. But luckily I had one of those under her and she just pooped all over it and I was just like, okay, this is life so yeah i need to take the garbage out asap because it stinks I have been back on like my healthy kick or whatever um so before pregnancy i was definitely taking these um collagen supplements and i've started back taking them now just you know for your hair your skin your nails and especially like with collagen it just adds like that elasticity like to your skin it makes your skin look really good so I'm kind of also taking this for my stomach for postpartum as well so everything just kind of shrinks on back and you know my skin is all good to go so um, you can mix this with like any type of liquid I personally would much rather um, mix it in with like a smoothie so I'll get like this um, green juice smoothie or like a strawberry banana smoothie um, from Bolt House Farms and I'll just blend it in my um, blender bottle um, I mean you can also just like make a smoothie at home and put it in there which is totally fine I've seen people do that as well but with the way my life is going I am just 
not gonna sit here right now and blend up a bunch of fruits and vegetables and all that and make my own smoothie you know i like to um work smarter not harder so <laughs> i'm gonna pour eight ounces if i can see oh i see it on the side okay so pour eight ounces of my green juice and then you can use one or two scoops of collagen i just use one so and i just level it out and then pour it in and then i'll just blend it together Yeah, I like to have these like right around lunchtime. Um, usually right before I eat lunch, I'll have a smoothie. And then speaking of supplements, I have a PR package that I wanna open with you guys. The packaging is so cute. Um, so this PR package is from Pink Stork. They are a pregnancy postpartum um, company they provide different supplements vitamins things like that anything that you need for pregnancy and postpartum so they had reached out to me and asked if they could send me a package since they did see that I just had a baby and I'm postpartum and they wanted to send me a box of goodies one thing I love is how personalized the package is like hello Tiffany like I have never gotten a package in the mail that was so personalized i don't know it just it really touched me it really stood out to me that like this box was made for me like everything in there is for me i don't know it just definitely makes a difference and i absolutely love that is adorable i have to show you guys like i legit just like have to show you look at how adorable this is so cute great things come in pink boxes i concur like seriously oh my god and y'all know pink is my favorite color so let's run through these goodies together ah! there's so much stuff there's even stuff underneath here. There's so much stuff. Oh my god, you guys. I was literally just talking about the collagen that I just took. And they sent this to me. This is so amazing. I am so, like, literally excited. So they sent me postpartum recovery tea. Okay, so it's 30 cups. It's strawberry passion flavored. That sounds delicious. Um, it's for postpartum healing support, cramp, and stress relief. And it has chamomile red red raspberry leaf tea, which I heard is really good. Oh, this is so amazing. I cannot wait to try that. Postpartum sits bath. It's a lavender scented. Love. They sent me this pregnancy and nursing protein, which has collagen and whey protein. It's a chocolate truffle flavor. That sounds so interesting. Like I usually get just like vanilla because I'm like super basic like that. But, <laughs> but this sounds like really, really good. I cannot wait to try this. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna try this tomorrow since I've already just made my collagen um drink for today so i'm gonna try this one tomorrow but this is what it looks like and then the last thing that they sent me um are some vitamin supplements they are postpartum mood support so it's for hormone mood support postpartum recovery energy support it has ashwagandha chamomile and vitamin d so amazing Yeah, I'm like so excited for these products. Like, I don't know. Stuff like this makes me so excited. Like, I love that it's a woman owned and founded brand and they make these products for us. 
by women for women love 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 i cannot wait to gush about these products on social media a huge thank you to pink store thank you thank you thank you love it i have a package downstairs too perfect so when i take the garbage outside i can grab my other package that's downstairs um i have this app that literally tracks like everything that i order it's called the shop app so if you do not have the shop app you need to get it it connects to your email so like whenever you order something and they say like oh you know you send your order confirmation all your tracking it kind of just grabs all the information from there so instead of searching for tracking numbers and all that everything is literally right on this one app and it literally tracks everything for you and sends you notifications when your item has shipped when it's on the way where it's at telling you when it's out for delivery and telling you when it has been delivered to your house like what also my faha came that i ordered from amazon girl this faha is about to have me snatched okay um yeah definitely snatched yeah so this is the faha that i got on amazon this material is so good um so like literally going to suck me in it's really like thick but stretchy so this is a stage two faha um it has very high compression which means it's going to compress the hell out of you okay um what i do like about this faha is that there's two rows of hooks so there's you know this row and then there's this row i love that there are hooks on the shoulder straps so you can adjust like how tight you want it on your shoulders which was kind of a game changer for me because i didn't want anything that was gonna like dig into my shoulders so i really like that i also love this strap here um which kind of just brings like it together up here you can remove it if you want to it just kind of um just like slides in there like a little adjustable strap and then i love that it has a full zipper crotch literally from front to back okay so you know if you're like me i typically don't wear underwear i find them to be uncomfortable i just want to let you know her breathe okay um but that's you know on a normal day i'm still postpartum so this doesn't count right now but <laughs> you could definitely um you know go commando and just unzip when you gotta pee i would recommend taking this off if you gotta do a number two i'm just saying another thing that i like about this faha is um the butt part there's no compression where the butt is so it's kind of like just like this fleshy sh like flesh colored um stretchy type of material here so it's not compressing your butt but it's going to compress like your thighs your hips your stomach your back so no back rolls under that so yeah i cannot wait to try this on so i got a medium when i took it out the pack i'm like dang this is looking kind of small so i'm like i don't know if i could fit it um i was like right in between a medium and a large and i just used their sizing chart on amazon and i literally got my tape measure and then i just measured myself and then i went to their size chart and determined what size i was going to get so it was like if you've never worn a faja before they would have recommended me wearing a large but since i have been wearing a faja um, basically kind of since I've given birth they recommended to go with a smaller size which is the medium so I went with the medium and um, yeah we got to try this on to see if I can fit it um, yeah this probably looks like it's a different day because I changed my shirt but trust me sis it's not I just changed my shirt to take the garbage outside because I want the girls just 
you know so i want it to be a little more um what's the word i don't even know the word girl but let's just say i just want to put on a t-shirt to take the garbage outside and grab my packages from downstairs so okay so the first package i forgot i'll be ordering so much stuff i forgot what i ordered anyway so I got her these um, Dr. Brown's pacifiers. They're like glow in the dark pacifiers and I like that it comes with the pacifier clip. This is like $7. Um, so the pacifier that she has now is the Event by Philips. She has the matching bottles for that but she always does this thing where she like sucks the pacifier and then she kind of spits it out or she kind of just like stops sucking and it falls out. So I'm like I don't know if she's not liking that specific pacifier or maybe that one's just not the right um like shape for her so i heard dr brown's was a really good brand so i got these and then i also got a phone case for my phone the brand is cord king it's on amazon i will link it down below that i have purchased my phone case from them before Ooh, i like this color i am such like a neutral girl so like very like nudes browns whites black that's just my vibe um and if you follow me on instagram you can probably kind of tell <laughs> that that's just kind of my vibe so this phone case it's really cute oh my god this is so cute so it actually matches my nails <laughs> so this is the color it's supposed to be like a very light pink but it's also giving like very minimalist nude neutral vibes and i love that i got a white one from them when i got my phone who knows however long ago oh shoot i almost dropped my phone that would have been really bad okay just want to see how it looks because it's so funny because me and my sister and my mom all have the same phone and we all have white cases and whenever we're together we're always picking up each other's phones this is how it looks the one thing I love about these like silicone cases, especially if you have um, like one of the iPhone Max, um, is that you can hold it with one hand and it doesn't slip. Like, I don't know, it just has that grip, I guess, where other cases you hold it and your phone just like slides. This one doesn't do that. Like I can literally sit here and like do, -do, do what I need to do with one hand, like without my phone sliding. So this is so cute i love this okay so now i can retire my um my white phone case for a little <laughs> and then what else do we have here i also ordered how am i gonna open this i need some scissors oh, i feel like i'm having cramps um i started back spotting today but they say you bleed or have um, um stuff i don't want to call it stuff but like discharge and like blood and stuff coming out for like six to eight weeks so yeah i'm definitely having cramps i'm going to take a motrin the other thing that i bought is from this company um called tubby todd and is this like halfway open like what the heck oh okay it's sealed i'm like what the hell um i actually saw them on instagram but then i was watching what is her name maya graves i was watching her youtube channel she's another mom so i kind of just like watch her vlogs and stuff like that um but i also noticed that she was using the same brand so i was like okay maybe this is a good repro reputable brand and not just an ad that's being spit out to me from just some rinky dink company so 
so I checked out their Instagram checked out their website and I was like okay so they have this product called all over ointment which is an oatmeal skin protectant and I was looking at the reviews this is what it looks like so I was looking at the reviews and a lot of moms were saying that it helped with like eczema heat rash things like that so I had initially bought this prior to the doctor's appointment that baby girl had yesterday so I was like well maybe I'll try this and see if it works and I also tried the Aveeno which her pediatrician said don't use the Aveeno because it's basically kind of just like you know a gimmick it really doesn't work like that so I am going to stop using the Aveeno um and just use the Eucerin and Aquaphor like she recommended I don't know if I'm gonna try this yet I'm gonna hold off I think I'm gonna hold off and wait until I see how like the Eucerin and the um Aquaphor is working first before I try this out yeah let me go ahead and um sterilize or sanit sterilize yeah that's the word but sterilize these bottles and these new pacifiers and i will check in with y'all a little bit later because she's getting fussy so I have to, bye